And then today, Giselle uploaded this picture outside of John Fetterman's Senate office. This time, half his body was cropped out. In fairness, at least he's wearing a suit and not a hoodie and basketball shorts. But still, Giselle takes center stage, which, of course, was the plan here all along. You know, sometimes I don't like it when people say, well, is it a slow news day? Is that why you're doing this random story? Specifically, in this case, people might say that about Fox News. There is a Tucker Carlson tonight, fill in host, talking about John Fetterman. Now, if there is a slow news day, the reason I don't like that insult is there's nothing I can do about it, right? You just have to pick up with whatever. But if you're gonna do something like this randomly on a slow news day, you should at least know what it is that's happening. Fox News is losing their minds over John Fetterman being cropped out of photos by his wife. Can you believe it? Now this is the scandal. <laughs> As a matter of fact, he's not the only one over on Tucker Carlson tonight. Harris Faulkner also talked about it. Let's watch. Going after Senator elect John Fetterman's wife, Giselle, after she posted <laughs> this pic. Many were quick to point out that her husband is partially cropped out <laughs> and accused Mrs. Fetterman of using it for her own 15 minutes of fame. Um, one critic said she wanted this so badly for herself, lol. Another first day for Senator elect Giselle Fetterman. And why is she even there? Your thoughts? Well, she's a lot better looking than he is. So as a man who's married to a wife that is far better looking, I'm sure John Fetterman would say, I don't even need to be in this photo, but he's not able to do the job, Harris. And, uh, and the reality here is that it does feel as if basically Pennsylvania has elected his wife and she certainly is furthering Ooh. that idea uh, with these photos. Maybe she's gonna step down and the new uh, Democrat governor elect is going to end up appointing her when her husband can't do the job. Yo, this is what happens when it's a slow news day. You take something like this, you can joke about it, that's fine. But then it goes to, that means she's gonna be a sworn in and she's taking over, over a picture? Over him being halfway cut out of it, are we for real? Or there's this, there's this one other thing you can do, look into it. Because if you did, you might find out things that I, I didn't know. My producers found this out because they did this small thing. It was uh, um, looking into it. Uh, it's an inside joke if you follow, if you actually care about the person that you're disparaging before they come into the Senate. Uh, Giselle's Instagram actually points out that they, she does this because of how tall he is in comparison to her, as you can see in this picture. There's another one though. It's like it's like a, a series where she does this and it's uh, kind of funny. Here's another one. She says, DC date night, Pennsylvania senator's in the house. There he is. Oh, But his nose is in it. I think she screwed that one up. But there was even an explanation John Fetterman talked about this two years ago. I understand you weren't following him as closely two years ago. But again, he did say this. The origin of my head, <laughs> he says. Years ago, uh, Giselle Fetterman found a bargain pair of shoes that she's excited about. In order for a post of her outfit and shoes to fit into the frame, she literally cropped my head off. People messaged me thinking it was an accident, so I call her. And this is the call, he says, it happened. He goes, hey, honey, my head accidentally got cut off in that IG pic. She says, I know. He goes, you know, sad face. She says, it was the only way I could make it fit in the frame. And in the subsequent years, the, the only uh, there's only shock now when my head actually makes it into the frame of these photos. It's weird because it's like they have a back and forth relationship where they enjoy each other and they uh, maybe some fun jokes here and there or they just can't uh, uh, completely uh, be serious and sad all the time. But it's because he can't, um, he can't legislate wise is the problem because of pictures his wife posts on Instagram that crop him out. I'm sorry. Has anybody ever dated a person who is active on Instagram? Like the number one, the number one goal is to make themselves look good. That's it. it like you know, your husband, your sister, your kid, your it don't matter. <laughs> it, it like you are there on Instagram to make yourself look good and cool and glamorous. That's what people. That's what ninety. Five percent of the people who are using the app are on there to do. Uh, so I'm not surprised that vanity took over. And this woman was like, "I look good and I want to display it." This is this is just common knowledge. I don't know why anybody would be surprised by this. Well, um, I am surprised. Actually, I'm not surprised by this. Uh, the one thing Fox News didn't talk about, since we're talking about cropping photos and political figures, is uh, Ivanka Trump at her little sister's wedding. I'm sorry, Ivanka Trump is no longer a political figure. She totally rejected her father when he said he's running for president again. But there's this picture that caused a little bit of a dust up on the internets because people are interested. 
There's Tiffany in her wedding in the middle. And there's all of her family. <laughs> Someone is missing though. I mean, there's there's uh, there's wives of the boys, and then there's also her. Who's that short person in the black dress off to the side next to Ivanka? Oh, that's Kimberly Guilfoyle. I guess the black sheep of the family. She was cut out of the photo. Oh my God, can you believe it? That means uh, that does is Kimberly and uh, Trump Jr.'s relationship in trouble? Did Ivanka actually hate her? Did they fight before this, or is it that she's wearing black and everyone else is wearing pastels? <laughs> I don't know what it is, but who cares? <laughs> who cares? <laughs> That's tough. That's tough. It, it's it's tough. She's kind of shorter than everyone else. Too. It's tough, man. It's tough when you get just cropped out just blatantly. But you know, you you, you part, you're not part of the real family for real. Um, as far as the cropper is concerned, it's tough. She's man. not married We've all been to cropped it, right? out of something before. Isn't she just I a don't girlfriend? Think she's just dating one of the you Trump know, boys. Uh, I, I don't we'll keep find up out. with what with, with the Trump who the Trumps are dating, but I think she's just dating one of the sons. I think so, Donnie Jr. Yeah, yeah I think she's just. Yeah. it's a, it's not a it's not an engagement or a marriage yet or any of that stuff.